Back in twenty twenty two February, I got my first bike. It's a Trek Risco twenty twenty. I got it because it was cheap, and it is a decent hardtail bike. I knew nothing about the bike or the mountain bike, but I'd like to have a try. That's why I chose this bike, and I hope I will enjoy it. And actually, it turns out good. It is my first time to ride my new bike on this mountain bike park, Makara Peak. What I did there was I took the very easy trails uphill, and also the very easy trails downhill. At that time, those are the trails that I can ride on, and I didn't even have the proper protective gear. I used the scooter helmet and the skateboard knee pads and elbow pads. I went to the ski area in that mountain bike park and was looking at my friends doing the jumps. I never expected that I could do that jumps one day or ride over that trails with a high speed. I made a very short video using the GoPro editor, and I uploaded this video to my YouTube channel and a Bilibili channel. Surprisingly. I got four thousand views on the Billy Billy channel. Since then, I thought that it would be fun if I could keep uploading my mountain bike videos to record my progression, and maybe I can grow my career as a YouTuber. This video is also made in February twenty twenty two. I was looking at the mountain bike park ski area again. I really, really wanted to try it. But I was a bit afraid of the speed. I was standing there and convinced myself to do it. Finally, I decided to give it a go. Although the one I chose was basically the simplest one, it was still challenging for me at that time. It's because maybe I couldn't carry enough speed to get onto this jump. And I have to push my bike onto the drum and then start again. But that's fine, because it's not that dangerous, and I think I can do that again. And I did this again. And again. And here is my fourth try. It's always difficult to take the first step, but once you make the first step, the following steps will be much easier. That's what I feel for the mountain biking as well. The first time would be the hardest time because I am afraid of the failure and the consequence of the failure. But if I can succeed, even succeed just for one time. I will know that I am capable of doing it, and I can do it again. Even though I may fail this time, I can know what I need to work on so I can be succeed next time. If I can do this without any issues or fear, maybe I wouldn't be that interested in mountain biking because I wouldn't feel the dry of progression. In this Miramar skill era. I was able to practice a lot of skills, such as pumping, jumping, and cornering. I think in this video, it was not the first time I went on this trail, because as you can see, my speed was not that slow, and I wanted to be faster every time. Actually, I tried to drop before, but I break too hard, and then I crash. That was a really interesting angle, so that's the reason I didn't put into my video before. I was fine after the crash, just a few bruises. I went back to the ski area in my car peak again. Hope you can see my progression now. I think I was much faster than my first time when I was there. I still needed to pedal a bit, but I could also carry a bit of speed. I 
that time, I was relying on my e-bike friend Li. This time, we will try something different. It was my first time to go on this trail. This is a grocery trail, and it's also my first time to ride on a grocery trail. I was really nervous, and I wasn't sure about what speed I should ride on. Remember, I still rode my hardtail bike, and there are a lot of rocks on this trail, and I was not sure. Okay, whether my bike can actually handle this. And here we are, the other challenge: these steep corners, especially the left turns. It was steep for me, and I had no idea on how I can corner it properly. That was a challenge to me, and actually, cornering is still a challenge to me now. Here we are, another corner. And I made the same mistake. Luckily, my good friend Li, he's really good at mountain biking, and he was patient and taught me the cornering techniques. Although I wasn't able to implement what he just taught me this time, I just walk my bike. However, I was able to do this corner properly. I think what I need is just more speed. And more practice, then I can conquer this grocery trail. It was so interesting to see that actually at first I was good at those right turn, and not really that good at the left turn. But now I'm actually the other way around. I feel that I'm more confident at those left turns, but not those right turns. I really struggled to stand over here. It's actually quite steep. And it's actually fun to watch it now. And I fell at another left turn. This time I turned too much. Finally, I stood up, and I completed this trail. It took me like nearly twenty minutes to finish that trail. In April, I got my electric bike, and I rode more Makara Peak. And in May. I think I've been improved a lot in like the follow speed and the cornering techniques and everything for this trail. Even though it is a bit wide, I can still ride on it without a problem. I had a better idea of how much brake do I need and how much front brake and how much rear brake. And most importantly is that. I can ride much more efficiently now because I got my e-bike. Uphill is no more an issue for me, and I can just practice quite a few times a day. Probably sometimes I can do five times peak flow a day. With so many times of practice, I feel more confident at this trail. My cornering techniques have been improved quite a bit. Everything went smooth until this time. It was a small mistake. I crashed and I hurt my arm badly. Since then, I had to stop my mountain biking career for at least a few weeks. Well, it was winter anyway. I think I could stop for a while for mountain biking. And I can do something else like snowboarding. I did more biking in the summer, and I realized that it's really important for me to learn how to drop off properly. So I started to spend some time in practicing how to drop, and the outcome was not bad. Cornering is still a challenge to me. For example, I fell here. Thanks for my boyfriend's guidance. I conquered this corner. I did some more practice in dropping off, and I think I was doing pretty good, and I was getting better and better. 
In January 2023, we went to Christchurch Adventure Park. During the time there, I realized that how simple the Wellington trails are. Unfortunately, I crashed on the first day in the mountain bike park, and that day was also the New Year, first January. I was not confident, and I kept pushing my bike. I was okay with that because I know safety is the most important thing. However, I really, really want to build my skills. Instead of riding on those trails that I am always good at, or the trails that I am not good at, I decided to spend some more time to improve my skills for dropping off and cornering. So I decided to spend more time in their skill area. And here is a training outcome. There was the enduro race in the Macara Peak. After the course has just been announced, I was unsure whether I should go or not. So I gave the voting rights to my friends. Then I registered myself in because all of them think I should do it. It is the first enduro race that I've ever done. I was so nervous because I had to ride Pohatu. It's a great full trail, and I'm not sure whether I've done enough practice for it. But anyway, I'm here. The condition on the race day was not perfect. It's a bit wild and windy. I hope that I can finish the course safely and in one piece. I chose to do the hardest trail, Pohatu, first because I didn't like the pressure that someone would be behind me, and I had to give way to them. And here is my race results on that day. So that's my one-year mountain bike progression. I hope you enjoy this video. There's still a lot of techniques for me to learn, and there is room for me to progress. I can't wait to see how much progression I will be able to make this year. I will keep recording and uploading the videos as long as I have time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.